Each Latin noun had many different forms. The accusative singular became the basic form. Vulgar Latin, muru meant wall, casa meant house, sale meant salt, and arte meant art. Every Latin noun belonged to one of three categories, masculine, feminine, and neuter. These categories are called genders, but they don't necessarily correspond to physical gender. Many words for inanimate objects were masculine or feminine, and some words for people were actually neuter. Romance content words have a stem and an ending. Here, u, a, and e are endings. Masculine or neuter, u, feminine, a. Any gender can end in e. Vulgar Latin combined masculine and neuter, u, into a single masculine gender. So masculine, muru, and neuter, verbo, both become masculine in the Romance languages. Casa is feminine, sale stays masculine, and arte stays feminine. In Mediterranean Romance languages, masculine nouns end in o or u. These are the modern languages. Spanish muro, Sardinian muru, Italian muro, Portuguese muru, from late Latin muru. In Eastern Spain, France, Switzerland, Northern Italy, and Romania, this masculine ending actually wears off. So we get French mur, Romanian mur, Romance mir, you can see that the original ending u has been lost. Feminine nouns in a keep that a in Iberia, Italy, southern France, and Switzerland. So Petra becomes Spanish piedra, Italian pietra, Sardinian pedra. Feminine a gets weaker in Catalan, Romanian, and Portuguese. Pedra, piatra. It has a sound like a instead of a. French eventually just loses this feminine a. Pierre. Final E also gets weaker outside of Italy. So we have Italian arte, Camperinese, Sardinian arti, but Romance art or French art, or Italian sale, but Spanish sal, French sel. Neuters remain in Romanian, and a few curious cases in Italian and Romance. Romanian neuters have a masculine-looking form in the singular, but feminine-like forms in the plural. So neuter verbu becomes Romanian verb, but the plural is verbe. There's an east-west split in the way Romance languages turn basic nouns like muru into plurals. Western Romance languages like French, Spanish, Occitan, Portuguese, and Sardinian add an S to the end. This comes from the accusative plural in Latin. Muru has the accusative plural muros, which you can see in the Sardinian muros, Spanish muros, Catalan murs, and French mur. Similarly, the accusative plural of casa is casas, so Spanish casas. Catalan, Casas, and so on. Eastern Romance languages lean on the nominative plural instead, which is responsible for all those academic sounding Latin plurals in English alumnus, alumni, alumna, alumnae. Those are the same plurals that survive in Eastern Romance languages like Italian, Sicilian, and Romanian. Muru has the plural muri, just as Italian muro becomes muri, and Romanian mur has the plural mur. At a glance, it looks like Eastern Romance also owes its feminine plurals to the Latin nominative. Latin casa has a nominative plural casae, which should become Romance case. But evidence points to an accusative origin. Eastern Romance lost final S's, so casas eventually changed to Italian case and Romanian case. What about the plurals of those nouns ending in E? Nouns in the West still add S, so we have Brazilian Portuguese achi and achis. 
Those vowel-switching eastern nouns turn that A into an E. Arte. Arti. That's all for the basics of masculine, feminine, and neuter gender, and singular and plural number of nouns in the Romance languages. <laughs>